we have another box packing. Little monkey girl's going home today. Well, she's going to start her journey. We're going to start wrapping. The first thing I'm going to wrap up is her belly plate. If you can see that. I did attach a ribbon on the back. Her mommy asked me to. And thank you to her Londa who showed us how to do that a while back. But I'm not going to send her home with it on. Um, so that when mommy holds her, she's nice and cuddly. I'm just kind of getting the ribbon folded up inside so that it stays neat and tidy. There we go. And I'm just going to wrap it in white tissue. I don't want to use colored tissue for that because... And then I will put it in a baggie. I like to put belly plates in baggies. Even though I do line the box, you know, with a, a tablecloth, I just want a little extra protection of the belly plate. Let me move her cup of little things she's wearing over there so I have a spot to put everything. I have this little, um, this was in her photo shoot. It's a little um, diaper cover and hat. My mom actually crocheted these. I asked my mom for a little bit of help. Um, actually, I'm going to use this little piece for these first. These little crochet pieces, actually they're knit, I believe. Um, I ordered these from Nicole over at Nicole's Little Ones. She is now selling her, um, her yarn art. And so I had placed an order with her because she had made a hat and booty set for... Um, I have another kit of Mama's Little Monkey that's a keeper baby for me. And so she had gifted me booties and a hat. So I placed an order with her. And this is... Um, the hat is a beautiful yellow color. And it's trimmed in white. It's kind of lacy looking. And the white has like little... It's not really glitter in there. It's just kind of iridescent looking. And then little yellow booties to match. And then this here, it looks just like a little rectangle of fabric. It's white and it has butterflies in lavender and pink and blue on it. But she is wearing a non-disposable diaper that I ordered. And it came with this. This was the little wipe. So I'm just sending it home with her. But I have this little tiny piece of tissue that I have for those little... She's a tiny little baby. She's 15 inches and, oh, what was her weight? Two something, I think. I have a little small piece of my It's a Girl ribbon left that I think might fit around this. Next time I go visit my mom, I have to go to Michael's because I guess I could probably order it. I should check online for the It's a Girl, It's a Boy. I still have a little, I think I have, no, I have actually a whole roll and part of a roll of It's a Boy left. All right, now we're going to wrap up this little crochet set, the diaper cover and hat there in gray. And then, is it gray? Yeah, those are gray. And then they just have a silver button. The two buttons on the hat are actually, um, have little snowflakes in them, but they're all, it's all silver. I'm wearing my sweater today. It's a little chilly down here. We are actually getting rain right now. It started raining last night, and, I mean, again, it could be snow. We had snow on Easter. I don't think I've been on since Easter. We, my husband and I had plans to take a nice walk in the park on Easter afternoon. We'd talked about it on Saturday. And then when we got up, it was snowing. That was God's little April Fools. All right, here, this outfit she wore in her photo shoot. Um, this outfit and then the, the monkey outfit are for are the size for Biddy Baby that I ordered for and they fit her perfectly. So if you have this kit, Biddy Baby fits perfectly. This is a little um overall set. It's um like seersucker. It is um in pink, green, white plaid. The shirt the t shirt underneath is a short sleeve t shirt in pale pink. And then it has poppers that attach the um the straps that are green, and then there's a headband is pink with a big bow matching the the material, the green, pink, white, yellow, and then there's a, what cinches it in the middle is 
pink with white polka dot. I love that outfit on her. So sweet. She's really a fun little baby to dress. You can find so many fun little, I know a lot of people steer away from the tiny babies, but if you take some time and go, you know, shop on Etsy for the size of your baby, I mean, they make doll clothes down to like dollhouse size dolls. It just takes some time to find exactly what you're looking for. But I find the tiny babies can be so much fun to dress. I'm trying to open a new spool of ribbon here in pink. Well, here, this one's open, but hmm, no, it's not long enough. Um, this is the one downside to having this spool organizer that I have. I have all my spools of ribbon which I really like that they're all organized on here. What I need to get in the habit of doing is when I put a, a new roll on here, I need to cut the, because it's got like the little plastic all the way around the roll of ribbon. Some of them just have that little piece of tape, which I much prefer. But this one had the whole um, plastic around it. Maybe because it's like ribbon. Ribbly? That's not a word. Ruffly ribbon. <laughs> I don't know. And then these are, I'm going to wrap these two together. It's two pairs of pajamas. They're from Magnificent Baby, which are, um, they have the magnets down the front. And this one is light pink. And it has flowers in pink and orange. And then that's kind of a gray color. And the collar is a pink. And then the other one is white with hearts and polka dots on it in pink, peach, red, purple. Um, I really love these. I had actually ordered two sets of these, and the other two are going home with Tank. I had ordered two sets of these in preemies for my Heavenlies, my Saffron and Sapphira, and they were too small for them. And so I've just had them over in my going home with babies stash of clothes, and look how it worked out. Perfect. My, the Tank, the Tank, Lucy Ray, I've shared her name already. She's going home with a set of these, and then um, and then this little Mama's Little Monkey. So, And uh, Mama's Little Monkey, again, this won't air till she's been received at home. She is going to a very dear friend of mine, Amanda, over at Little Reborn Princess. Um, and she is just such an amazing friend. If you don't watch her channel, she's just a dear, dear sweet lady who I have had the pleasure to get to know outside of YouTube. And um, she's just so sweet and so kind and generous. Hi, Amanda. And I'm so excited for this baby to get home to her. I'll let her share anything she wants to share. But um, I'm just so honored that this little baby will be joining you and Lena. She has Lena, who is twin A. A? Yeah, A, twin A. And then this is her little monkey outfit. I wanted to pay homage to her kit name, which is Mama's Little Monkey. And so I found this outfit that had uh, banana pants. They're green background with little bananas all over it. <clears throat> one's on a lounge chair sleeping. There's one reading a newspaper. There's one licking his lips. And then it's paired with this peasant top that's yellow with white polka dots. And then the edging is white with black polka dots. And then I made this little headband. It's like a stretchy lace white headband and I put a white flower on it with um, I sewed a little monkey into the center a monkey button and I meant to use the the headband for the seersucker one to close that package oh well I'll do it on this one my mistake I'm like there's like little hairs okay so anyway this little beauty should be home. She, um, for those of you who don't know, Amanda lives in Canada. So um, hopefully she'll be home. What is today? Tuesday. Hopefully she'll be home the beginning of next week. That's what I'm hoping. All right, now we're going to dress this little beauty. Here's her little blanket I'm sending home. One side is white with pink polka dot, and the other side is white with uh, little uh, bouquets of flowers in a couple colors of pink and yellow and green leaves. It's just really sweet and super soft. I'm going to lay that down and then I'm going to bring, oh, remember I said that Maisie 
couldn't fit in the bumbo because of her thighs. Well, this little one, the bumbo, swallowed her up. Oh, look at that sweet baby. She's so sweet. Y'all know I have a special place in my heart for tiny babies. She is currently wearing her um, one-of-a-kind Kimberly's Cocoon onesie, which is a long-sleeved one, and I'm going to dress her. I went back and forth about what to put her in, and I decided to put her back in the little... Uh, this little outfit, which is little gray leggings. This is actually for made for American Girl dolls. But I think it's meant to be. I ordered it a long time ago off of Zoo Lily. What's the brand? Anna Loren. And she makes clothes for children. And then they have matching doll clothes. And um, I think this might be meant to be capris on an American Girl doll. Um, let me get a piece of tape. There's these little, I cut uh, a baby's hair down here yesterday, so I'm finding little hairs everywhere. Okay, and I'm going to put these little white ruffle socks on her. She's so sweet. She's a very fashionable, stylish little baby girl, aren't you? You're a little diva. Mm-hmm. And then the shirt is kind of like a dress, also like a peasant style. And it Velcros all the way down the back. Because, again, it's made for children. Oh, there's the tag in there. It is um, white background. And now her long sleeves are going to have to stick out. But it's chilly, so I think it's good she has those on. Um, it's a white background. And then the top part is has gray. Oh, where's that sleeve? has little gray um, like swirlies and then the bottom part has those as well but then there's like purple flowers with a yellow in the center and then the, the belt at her waist is um, white with yellow of the same pattern turn your head darling and oh there's yellow flowers in the bottom too I think I'm just going to like loop this over. I don't want her laying on a big knot or a bow while she travels. That wouldn't be cozy. Well, let's see if I can get it flat. I just don't like that big knot in the middle of her back. Let's see. If I can. No, I'm going to leave it hang. All right, darling, let's put your headband in your... And then up on the top part, just under her neck, is a... A flower that is lavender with white polka dots and I also made this headband it's a stretchy yellow elastic that I tied I sewed a gray flower on and then we'll put her little yellow bracelet on oh look at you you are so sweet and then I'm also gonna put her in I ordered this from Nicole as well. It's a little tiny cocoon. Look, it's purple. Amanda loves purple. Um, so I'm going to put her into this. So I gotta kind of, and then I'm going to snap a photo because I told Nicole I would take a photo of her in it and send it to her. I just gotta. This is where that ribbon in the back should have been tied. I just. Let me just roll her over a minute. Oop, and your headband is not laying flat, darling. We can't have that. All right, let me get this. There might be a better way to do that, but... Oops, her bracelet came off. Let me snap a little photo. Oh, my word. She is so adorable. Pardon me, ladies, while I snap a photo. Let me get that lump out of that blanket back there. 
I'm trying to have the whole background be the blanket and not the... Okay, stand by. Patience, patience. You can fast forward. I'm going to put a couple little, like I did with Maisie, the elevator had a tad. There we go. That's better. Are you so cozy in your cocoon? Oh, she's so sweet. says, thank you, Auntie Nicole. So if y'all need anything knit, reach out to Nicole. I will put a link to her channel down below. Oops. As well as um, a, cha a link to this beauty's mommy's channel. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I got to give her a little snuggly buggly. so funny, you know, packing her up after Maisie. Hi, Maisie girl. Oh, no, her name now is Jovi Lynn. Actually, let me bring that down first. There we go. Oh, I've actually held babies this little and even smaller. Just so miraculous to me that, uh, I don't know if y'all have the same feelings, Creamy's just, I marvel at Creamy's, I really do. All right, now we've got, i got to be careful because her name is on here, her little handmade with love, little wooden um, butterfly, and then here's a little rattle. Tie those on the front of her. There we go. I hope everybody had a blessed Easter. I probably will be on again before this airs, so I will not talk too much about Easter, but oh, I'm going to miss this little one. Miss all the babies. I'm so happy they bring so many mommies so much joy. Oh, you're so sweet. Look at this. Oh, my word. I, she's my tiniest baby that I... No, no, no. I had the fairy. The little tiny fairy was the tiniest. But she's the tiniest baby. Let me move that out of the way. Okay. Now, I'm actually reusing a box that her mommy sent to me and I chose to reuse this box because it has like Canadian post or something written on the side and I was hoping that might be a little help in customs I don't know but we're gonna see all right let's get a little opening there and there are bubble there's bubbles underneath we're gonna lay her in I thought she'd fit look at that how perfect Oh, that's wonderful. And then this tin is for Mommy. It has some goodies in it for Mommy. There's some, uh, let me open it and show y'all. There's some chocolates, and I gave her one of my Mahjong necklaces. And um, some, I call it spi Spicy Arnica. It's a, a roll-on of Max Arnica that um, I had sent her once before, and she really liked it, so put that down next to her here. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's get something softy by her head. I think her bottle... Oops. You know what I forgot, ladies? I forgot to tie her duck onto her bottle. She's got to have a duck. And a girl duck. Right? Stand by one minute, ladies. Here I thought I was all organized. But, you know, that's life. Okay. 
So I got her this, oops, this little um, Dr. Brown's preemie bottle. I think it's two ounce, a little two ounce bottle. So that's fabulous. Maybe this piece of, I have just one small piece left of my, what's it called? The cherry blossom ribbon. That's another one I need to. I always got those at Michael's. So next time I go to Chicago, I have got to pop into a Michael's. Although I think there's one in that town where I go to Trader Joe's, which I'm going to need to go there eventually. So I might could. Yeah, there is one now that. Yes, there is because I did go when my mom and I went. We popped into that Michael's. Okay, here we go. My apologies. So there's her bottle with her ducky. I was setting up her box packing last night, and um, I was actually working on Saskia to put Saskia together. And um, my husband came home, and I'm like, oh my word, the day is gone. So I stopped and set up her box packing, but obviously I hadn't completely finished. Um, I'm sending this little bag home with her, a little diaper bag. It's empty, but it has an A. Her name starts with an A, but I will, of course, let her mommy share that. Let me put that under her, actually. I think that'll be good. Oh, nice extra cushion. She does have on a non-disposable diaper, but here are some little preemie huggies for her. And we'll just kind of tuck in all her little outfits. Let's put the monkey one on the top, right? I don't, we don't want pink and pink together. And mix it up. Like that. And then we'll lay her belly plate. Oh, this little tin here has her Noni's No Hole Nipple, her little, it's stuck down there because it's magnetic, her little um, honey bug passy, and then this little headband that she had wore in the photo shoot. It's just a, a fuzzy yarn that has a green, a pink, and a green little bead on it. So we'll put that in there. Here's her books. I'm sending her home with two little mini golden books. This one's called Four Puppies, and the other one is called... Hmm, let's look. The other one's called The Curious Little Kitten Around the House. But those are perfect size for her, don't you think? I think so. Let's stick those in there. I want to lay her monkey package on top, and then we'll lay her belly plate right here. Let me look around. Okay, now let's get... Here's her folder with all her paperwork. And as I said, she's going to Canada, so she gets a passport. Let me just cover her name. You can see her little picture, and it's been stamped Canada and U.S., and there's her COA and her birth certificate, care instructions, photos, everything's in here. And then here's her Kimberly's Cocoon bag. I am not putting um, hand sanitizer on here, and I didn't to, when I sent Casper home either because I wasn't sure if that would be a problem because they always ask if you're sending liquids. And so, you know, going through customs, I think, is a little different than sending liquids here, so... Let's hold that up and put that down there. I think that's everything except some Funfetti, which I restocked. So we'll put some big pieces, or not big, some fun confetti stuff in here. We'll do some yellow and white and pink and lavender. Um... Anyway, I thank you so very much, Amanda. This was such an honor to for you to adopt this sweet baby. Um, I really, really love this kit for a variety of reasons. I love creamies. I love um, uh, I love the kit. And and for those of you who have not been with my channel for a long time, she was actually my very first kit that I received. Um, that was painted as a custom, but she didn't quite look like the vision I had. So that was before I was painting. And so um, I will at some point be creating this baby again for myself. Because as I said, I do have another kit. 
so. Oop. Now we're going to tuck everything in and bid this beauty a fond farewell. Oh, this box is perfect, Amanda. Look at that. I couldn't have asked for a more perfectly sized box. I'm not going to pull the flap down because um, I believe our addresses from the first time, yes, are on the top. So I will do that off camera. Um, so thank you everybody for joining me. And thank you again, Amanda. Um, again, such an honor and pleasure. May she bring you many years of love and joy. She's carrying many hugs from me to you. And I love you loads. Thank you again. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.